Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. And a whole bunch of Warcraft Rumble players have today woke up to this, or if they're American then they had this last night. Account closed. We have permanently closed your account due to violations of our terms and conditions. So, yeah, the first major ban wave for Walker Rumble took place last night, January 11th to January 12th, 2024, and I've been trying to figure out what's really going on for most of today, and in this video I'm going to tell you all that I know about it right now. So a bunch of people have been banned, and Reddit is, as always, full of questions on why did this happen, or oh, why me, what could possibly have been the case. Well, Blizzard did say that they are considering some further punishments for some of the main exploiters in the Arclight search box thing, so that is the thing that most people are focusing on right now. Hey, how much did you exploit the Arclight search box? How much gold did you farm? But it's very unlikely that these bans are related to that, because we know of several people who are like minus 20,000 gold or something, they already got their gold balance negated. So they're already a negative gold, and it does not look like there's going to be further punishments for those. Maybe they are, who knows, maybe there are cases like that as well. But there are very high negative coin balances that have not been banned from the game. The punishment was taking away those coins that were earned by exploiting the search. So Arclight search does not seem to be an explaining factor, even though that's something that people are mostly thinking about. Then they are like, oh no, I got compensation for the search bug twice. Yeah, I got compensation for the search bug twice myself, by the way, as well. I'm not banned yet. Wonderful. But yeah, no, no way. Blizzard would definitely not ban you for their failed compensation. Maybe they would take extra away, but even that hasn't happened yet, so okay. Well, then there's, what about using an emulator? So playing on Bluestacks, for example, I play on Bluestacks myself, but no. Android emulation is perfectly legal, Android is open source, this is not like emulating some old Nintendo games, where Nintendo has the copyright and you're illegally emulating that copyrighted software. Android is open source software. An emulator, Android emulator on PC is just another Android device. You can install Blizzard games on that Android device from the Play Store. Yeah, all of that is perfectly legal, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, then people might ask, okay, why isn't Blizzard saying that, hey, you can use Bluestacks to play this game, or you can use some other emulator to play this game? Well, Blizzard would not want to comment on that, naturally, because then they would say that, hey, this piece of software, this specific software is okay. But among all the emulators, among all the, all the possible features that those emulators can have, or features that those emulators could include in the future that might enable cheating, well, Blizzard is not really going to be commenting on that. They don't want to restrict themselves and say that, or force themselves to follow whatever features various emulators have. But basically, emulators are Android devices. So, no, using just using an emulator is not going to get you banned. So, if it's not the Arclight search bug, if it's not getting compensation, if it's not using an emulator, what could it possibly be? Well, most likely it's going to be the reason that most people get banned from Blizzard games, and that's automating your farming, using bots, using scripts, using auto-clickers, using various methods that keep playing the game for you, without you paying attention, without you being present, maybe even being asleep. That can happen both on mobile devices and it can happen on emulators. You can install that kind of software both on your emulator, you can install it on your mobile device, your device is not the meaningful factor here. It's those bots, scripts and all the players that you use to gain more progress, gain more XP, gain more gold, and progress in the game without actually playing the game. And that is why Blizzard has banned many, many people in World of Warcraft, in Hearthstone, and I believe now in Warcraft Rumble. But what about all of these people who are saying that they have been wrongfully banned? Can Blizzard be wrong? Yes, yes, Blizzard can be wrong. We have past experience, we have years of experience of Blizzard banning people in World of Warcraft, in Hearthstone, in Diablo, in Heroes of Storm, and very often some innocent people are caught up in these ban waves. Blizzard definitely is not erring on the side of caution. Blizzard is not saying that, hey, okay, it's better to leave some cheaters up and just ensure that no innocents ever get banned. No, Blizzard is going to ban some innocents and figure out that, okay, it's all going to sort itself out. But 
the majority of people that have been banned, the majority of people typically, historically, looking at World of Warcraft, looking at Hearthstone, looking at Reddit forums, for example, the majority of people who have made threads on those forums saying that, hey, I was wrongfully banned, they weren't wrongfully banned, they were actually cheating. Yeah. However, some of them were not. And we do regularly get those threads where first someone says that, hey, I was banned wrongfully, and later on, they get their account back. And yeah, the ban, it's going to get repealed. So the vast majority of people who are getting banned in these ban waves really did cheat. Usually, even the majority of people who make Reddit threads about this and say that, hey, I was wrongfully banned, they actually cheated. But some of them did not. And they were wrongfully banned. So what do you need to do if you were wrongfully banned based on years of experience of Blizzard ban waves? First, you will probably need to submit multiple support tickets to get your case sorted. Because at first, you will be rejected automatically. And they are not even going to tell you why exactly you were banned. They refuse to tell you why you were banned. And they were just going to say that we are confident that we banned you correctly. That is a repeating thing. Every single person that I know of who has gotten their account back has first experienced that, hey, oh, you were cheating. So you need to support multiple tickets or call Blizzard or somehow get your case in front of an actual human being. And then if you really, really did not cheat, you can expect that this ban will be repealed eventually, but it can take multiple support tickets, it can take multiple attempts. Just be persistent if you really did not cheat in any way. But yeah, that's, that's what we know so far. Blizzard has not commented on this ban wave. They typically don't comment on ban waves. But based on years of experience with Blizzard games, most of the bans are actually correct. And those people were cheating, they were budding, they were getting XP while they were sleeping. And some few of them were not. And they will need to be very persistent in order to get their accounts back. But People have managed to do that before in other Blizzard games. So if you were wrongfully banned, I believe in you. You will be able to get your account back. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.